I'm Howie with Hobie and I'm here to introduce the Track Mount Mini Bin. The H-Rail Mini Bin was such a popular accessory and still is, but we wanted to give those using track mounted accessories an option to put a mini bin type storage anywhere along the boat. We've given this bin four molded pad eyes around the perimeter of the bin, a molded knife slot as well for stashing a bait knife, and a multi-tool holder which holds boga grips, fish grips, needle nose pliers, and more. One feature that you might not notice right off the bat, but that can be really useful on the water, is that the dimensions of the interior of the bin are exactly that of a standard size soft plastics bag. When you look to the interior of the bin, we've got a snap-in floor with built-in drain channels that shed water and keep your gear elevated out of moisture if it happens to get in the bin. The removable floor allows you to flush sand and debris out of the bin if you happen to have a capsize in the surf zone or you're just going through some really challenging conditions and you end up getting sand or sediment flushing through the bin. You can actually remove that floor, thoroughly clean everything out and snap that floor back into place. One of the best features is this little locking tab here. As you insert the bin into a gear track, tighten the tension wheel down, this bin's gonna lock into place and it's not gonna be able to rotate. So in the event that you bumped it and you have counterclockwise force on the bin, it won't unthread. It's gonna stay secure in the gear track at all times, which makes it perfect for leashing things too. And this composite material that the bin's constructed out of is super durable. All 316 stainless steel hardware, it's not gonna corrode, so this will last a long time. Installing the bin into the gear track on the boat is very easy. You can even do it single-handedly. But what you're gonna do is insert it into the load point of the track, slide it to the desired location, and this tension wheel's got oversized thumb catches on it, so you get really positive grip as you're tightening it down. Once it's installed, as you can see, there's no rotation happening here, thanks to that locking tab, and you've got a really tight installation. Simply use those oversized thumb catches again, slide the gear to the load point, and uninstall it.